Hi, I'm going to give you a review of the Timex Intelligent Depth Gauge Watch. If you want to skip forward to the pressure test, go to 2 minutes 47. On the side we have a pressure sensor that measures the depth every 5 seconds during the dive. The backlight. And the dive mode currently showing it off. The crown can be used to recall the dive depth and the temperature of the last dive. And a set of US Navy dive tables, good for the first no stop dive unless you know the residual nitrogen time of the previous dive. There's a standard one way diving bezel, so you can't accidentally knock time off. Could be difficult to turn with gloves so i like to turn it nearly all the way when you get ready and then activate the dive mode and turn the bezel i'm going to show you the memory first before I activate it as it will reset the log which is only one dive to recall the dive you need to unscrew the crown which i think is a fatal flaw in the design as you can't recall the max depth during the dive if you unscrew it every dive there's a risk you might not retighten it and flood the watch It shows the last dive depth of 30 meters and the last temperature of 20 degrees centigrade. Don't forget to rescrew the crown. If you activate the dive mode, check the depth needle is ready which remains in standby for two minutes and just double check the crown as well. The light will work in normal or dive mode and it will flash if it's in the dive mode but you can't see the depth readings around the edge. Get a torch if it's that dark. The light stays on for about four seconds after you release it. To test the depth gauge accuracy, I filmed it in a pressure chamber and also filmed a close up afterwards for more detail. The test chamber shows 1 bar pressure and 10 meters. Two bar pressure and 20 meters. three bar pressure and 30 meters. I've noticed that during a dive, the dive mode can be activated so that you'll at least have a current depth if your computer fails and you hadn't already activated the watch. And for the close up, there's one bar pressure and 10 meters. two bar pressure and 20 meters. And finally three bar pressure and 30 meters. So you can see it's actually quite an accurate and responsive watch. And it's a pretty good price if you can still find one. So it's definitely worth buying it despite its fatal flaw that you can't recall the maximum depth during the dive.